Good morning to everybody. Good day to everybody. It's six fifty. And good evening too. Six fifty seven. Let's see, seven a.m. Eastern Standard Time, <laughs> nine twenty seven, two thousand twenty. This is a update from Steve that just came in maybe twenty minutes ago. Okay, so Stratus at launch update. Okay, just heard a little noise. What was that? Oh, I'm sorry about that. I'll concentrate. The first platform <laughs> functioning that will be added to the Stratus will be, functionality, will be YouTube goal within two weeks of launch, which we pretty much know. Amazon multi-store with influencer referral system built in. Okay, Amazon, people that are new to this, it's the full functionality of the top platforms in the world. Social, mar, you know, media, I shouldn't say media, marketing, everything. You know, e-commerce, the whole kit and caboodle. So they are taking the best, making them better, and making them private, no data sold, and one login to all the platforms. So again, you have these that I just mentioned, Tinder with video, voice, and video calls, LinkedIn, professional network, Upwork where professionals can attain work directly, and businesses can post jobs directly, Kickstarter where anyone can launch a fundraiser, we'll be trying to add a Telegram platform in parallel, Facebook and Twitter, yes, as we all were hoping for and planning on, and we'll have a Craigslist marketplace hub, an event hub, a blog hub, a forum hub, and some other features at launch as well. So the influencer set up for Stratus um, for them to test it out first will be in the next few days or so. And then the full launch from that point on, um, not far after that. So that is your update on Stratus. Now the market, you've got 336 billion with 11.4 for the daily. BTC at 10.675, ETH at 3.52, XRP at 23.9, almost 24, and we'll have to just wait and see what happens. I say that every day almost, but what is it? The market, you just don't know what's going to happen. Is it going to surge? Is it going to be a sell-off? Is it going to stay steady for a little bit? We'll have to wait and see. U.S. Federal Reserve is talking about the digital dollar seriously. Um, so that we'll have to watch and see if they do come through with it. Yeah, they just may, and they probably will, <clears throat> if they're smart. Over 150 million drain. This is not new news. This happened yesterday. You, most of you have heard about it. Um, it sucks. KuCoin hacked. 150 million drained out. Uh, they switched the hot wallets. But I'll tell you one thing too. <clears throat> Exchanges that are using hot wallets, you suck. Okay, <laughs> you look at Coinbase, which they have used for a long time. Okay, and you look at a few others. You look at what Apollo is doing. You got to have the military grade. You got to have the also the cold wallet setup. And with that cold wallet setup, it's offline. You cannot get to it. That's the way to have it. But these idiots are keeping these fucking excuse me. They're keeping excuse me to the kids in the audience. Just gets me mipped. Uh, you cannot have your wallets out there with the seeds, with the codes, out there for the hackers to get. They can. Hackers are smart. They know what to do. And there you go. There goes the funds. Now, some of the good exchanges have insurance, like Binance. But still, you just you don't want it to happen. It causes a lot of stress to the coin holders. Twitter vows more secure protocols after Bitcoin hack. We'll have to see that, that right there. Let's put it this way. B, let's put it, this, there's nothing free in this world. Anybody that says, you know, you send this to me, I'll send you more. Come on, okay? Your emails, when you open them up and you don't recognize who it is and they want you to click this link. Anywhere where they say click this link, don't do it. By text, email, don't do it. Chinese state TV just shilled DeFi and Ethereum to hundreds of millions of users. <laughs> Chinese state TV. Ethereum still not ready for DeFi, say some critics. Well, Ethereum boasts how they're doing everything with proof of state now, which Apollo's been doing for two and a half years, and how they're going to be doing sharding, but shard Apollo did it back in the summer of 2019. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, 
Let's get to Apollo more. United Allied States. Look, this is just on the edge of being announced. The first state. Once the visa renewal comes through, everything, the diplomatic piece has been added for the invitation. So you've got that and you have so much excitement on it. I just can't wait to see it happen. Apollo Fintech is ready to romp with all their products and that is something that we all know that have been familiar will take care of business and any updates coming through I told you there'd be more coming and there will be I just can't put it all out right now but so much more is coming so everybody this is your quick update have a great day today or night today depending where you are in this world and I will be in touch